Okay, so once again, Jay Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Today, we got a new load, a new gun, and an aftermarket choking. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, so we've been testing the Rogue 410 today. This is a 410. 3 inch, 27 30 second ounces of 9 shot, traveling 1100 feet per second. Now this is not a New York legal load. Rogue only offers 9s at this point in time. As you guys know, this load just hit the market. Jebs, the owner of Jebs designed this, so we will be putting this through Jebs chokes as well. Today I got my little toy gun out here, a Rossi Turkey. As you guys know that you have this, there ain't nothing to it. Mine is the polymer receiver hammer it's not all steel so this thing weighs like three pounds we've shot it with the factory choke today and now what we're doing is just installed my pattern master code black turkey this is a 383 constriction and we gauge pinned it so we know it's right there uh, i have this gun set up as a budget setup i got a 40 dollar fayarki red dot on here i have one on my 20 gauge actually this is the newer version so this is a true budget setup so we're going to put this Rogue 40 yards, I'm going to shoot the left target. We're trying two pieces of cardboard wide because we've noticed the height, it's not very open. You get your flyers in the width. So we're going to try it for this test and see how it looks. And then if we don't like it, we'll go back to the four. But So let's get right to it. I got my red dot pretty much dialed in. Uh, I haven't shot it with the code black turkey, so there might be some difference because as you guys know with reflex sights, different loads, different chokes, they shoot differently. So that's why you always sight in with what you're going to take a field, choke wise and load wise, so you know you're dead money. It's all about being ethical as a hunter. So here we go. We got the sandbags today. I know these things kick hard, but we just don't need the lead sled for them. You know what I mean? We got to break in the shoulder sometime, you know what I mean. So here we go. Let's kill that turkey at 40 yards. Left target. We got the Rossi turkey. Code black turkey from Pattermaster 383. And we got Rogue's ammunition. They say to leave the pack. We're testing if that's a good decision or not. Let's get it. Also, before I shoot, I sighted this in with lead loads and it ejected fine. I've shot two straight turkey loads with this gun, both of them jammed right in the chamber. Drop a comment below, if you guys have a Rossi, is this a common thing or will it break in? I just, I need to know more because if I'm going to take this to Kentucky, I want to make sure my shell ejects. So just drop a comment below, let me know if that's something you see or if that's not an issue for you, maybe I just got to break it in, I don't know. So drop a comment below, but whether this ejects or not. We're killing that turkey. Let's go. There we go, zooming out. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It gets jammed in there just like that. It's three for three in a row now. I just, not a fan of that at all. Just drop a comment below. Let me know if this is something that you guys have been seeing. And uh, we'll figure it out. But let's go check this pattern out. I aimed to touch right because my red dot was shooting right. And this just proves my point. With the pattern master in, it shot dead true to where I was aiming. So now I know my red dot's good to this choke and this load. So that's why. Sight in with what you're going to hunt with. That way you're truly sighted in. Let's go check this target. Okay, so this is my first time shooting the Rossi with an aftermarket choke at 40 yards. My first impression of this, which we are gonna test this side by side, is my Stevens with that code black turkey blows this Rossi out of the water. Granted, I have not shot the Rogue out of the Stevens, that's coming shortly, but just knowing what my Stevens does with all the loads with that code black turkey, it's not a comparison between the Stevens and the Rossi. We will put them side by side like I said, but Man, that's Stevens. It just shoots good, I tell you. So let's look at this pattern. So as you can see, my core is actually a little low and a little right. Like I said, you got to sight in with what you're hunting with. I do think we should have went with the four cardboard to get to everything, because I, I know there's hits down here. We will be reverting back to the full coverage of the pallet. 
for this. We just figured that it, knowing what our 410s can do with our chokes outside of outside of the Rossi, we don't need the four. But with the Rossi and the Code Black Turkey, I uh, at least with the Rogue, this is more open. I mean, granted, guys, this is your core. You do have a lot of hits here. It didn't shoot bad. It'll kill you turkeys at 40. If you bring this up, you're killing them. But just knowing how that Steven shoots, I look at this and it's it's a letdown. When it comes down to patterning your guns, the relationship between the choke and the gun and the load, it's got to jive right for it to shoot good. I don't think something in this setup didn't jive. We're going to be testing that Rossi with the CBT with a lot of loads. So we'll see. We'll see what load it likes and we'll roll with it. But as far as this, once Moose zooms out to the full pattern here, you can see I got a lot of flyers over here. There's nothing in there. I know I had flyers down here, but it, most of the pattern is right here. It's just more open than what we're used to seeing. So something in this relationship ain't quite get along. But needless to say, if you put that dead money, you're killing turkeys with the setup. It's just not the best that we've seen out of a 410. It's just not. But we got a lot to test with that Rossi. It's new to the channel, and we're going to be testing this hardcore. We'll find what she likes. You know that. So as I said, Rossi's new to the channel. We're going to be testing that thing in depth. We're going to be putting it against factory and the pattern master with a lot of loads. We're going to be testing the Rossi versus the Stevens with a bunch of different choke combinations and load combinations. We're going to test these 410s hardcore. I want to see if the Stevens just flat out shoots better than the Rossi or if the Rossi's just got to find that right setup. So this is just a start. We got a lot more coming with the Rossi. I, I, I'm still thinking it's going to shoot all right. We got a lot of tests with it, so it's too early to tell. But guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Blue Collar Outdoors. This is what we do here. It's honest, no bullshit testing. Nothing in the outside can tell us what to say here. As you can see here, I shoot for Pattern Master, and that's not an ideal pattern right there. I mean, it'll kill you turkeys, but I want better. So I'm going to find that perfect setup with that Pattern Master and that Rossi. It's just not the Rogue. We'll figure it out. But guys, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We upload Monday and Wednesday during season. Monday, Wednesday, Friday in the off season. But as we stress, that notification bell is key because if you guys have been around for a while, you know. Random videos on BCO. Hey, that happens all the time. Last month has been pretty much seven days a week, baby. So, notification bell, smash the thumbs up, subscribe. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got a ton of 410 tests to film today. It's going to be fun. So, as always, guys, catch you on the next one.